serious representative to the UN says the French, British and American delegation to the Security Council provide curtailed information and exploit the Council with respect to the situation in Syria. And Syrian Arab Army continues to advance in Old Homs, heading to Al Hamidiyah neighborhood, inflicting heavy losses on terrorists. The Minister of Electricity inspects the workshops which are working to rehabilitate the infrastructure in Malula town. Archaeological finds dating back to the 2nd and 3rd century AD were discovered stolen and hidden in a farm near Palmyra. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian Arab Division in Damascus. Syria's permanent representative to the United Nations, Dr. Bashar al-Jafari, said that the French, British and United States delegation to the United Nations Security Council provide curtailed information and exploit the Council with respect to the situation in Syria. A closer look in the following. In a press conference held after the end of the closed-door consultations held last night about the situation in Homs City, al-Jafari said that the American-Franco-British mixed diplomacy is strange and rejected as they focus only on the so-called old homes and forget the Turkish-backed terrorism against Kassab. He added that there are numerous errors committed by the UNSC member states and the staff of the Secretariat of the Council who did not provide the Council with sound information to enable it to take appropriate action. The permanent representative stressed that the Syrian government a few months ago allowed 2,700 civilians and gunmen to leave old homes, and now they are living in safe areas. He demanded the UNSC to take measures that put pressure on governments that finance terrorists in Syria. He went on to say that the Syrian people do not want press releases from council, but they want new measures that exert pressures on those governments that fund terrorists in Syria and drove them to stop helping them to cross the borders. Al-Jafari pointed out to the involvement of some governments in shedding the Syrian blood touching upon what was written by Seymour Hirsch about the use of chemical weapons, as well as the leaked records for the meeting in the office of Turkey's foreign minister, as it became clear to everyone that the Turkish government's involvement in destabilizing Syria and shedding the Syrian blood. He stressed that the responsibility of keeping international peace and security does not fall only on China and Russia, but it is the responsibility of the 15 UNSC members. Al-Jafari held the United States, France and Britain responsible for aggravation of the situation in Syria. Al-Jafari stressed that, contrary to the U.S. government's claims on supporting a political solution in Syria, it has facilitated, as all know, delivering anti-tank missiles to terrorist groups, which were designated by terrorist entities on the UNSC lists. Al-Jafari concluded criticizing the European Union's double standards. Well, it claims it is a friend of the Syrian people, while imposing economic sanctions on them and bought oil for the terrorists, included on the UNSC terrorist entities lists. Minister of Electricity Ahmad Khamis said maintenance teams have started work to rehabilitate the electricity network in Malula town in Damascus countryside to restore power as soon as possible. More in the following. During the tour in the area, Minister Khamis inspected the damage inflicted to the electricity infrastructure in the area due to the acts of the armed terrorist groups, highlighting that their terrorist acts would never undermine the will of the Syrian people or sabotage the national unity among the Syrians. For his part, Damascus countryside Governor Hussein Makhlouf said that all efforts are being exerted as to restore all services to Malula with the aim of allowing all the Malula's residents to return to their houses. In turn, Patriarch Musa al of the Patriarchate of Antioch and All East Forum and Orthodox said that Syria has spread peace and enmity to the entire world, adding that the terrorist war will only make the Syrians more resolved to unify thanks to the sacrifices of the Syrian Arab army that represents all the Syrian spectrums. 
He noted that ancient archaeological artifacts were stolen from the church and were transported by the professionals who accompanied the terrorist groups in Malula. And in Sednaya, citizens marked Good Friday, where they performed prayers and stressed their determination to press ahead in resisting Takfiri terrorism. More in the following. The hymns of Good Friday were chanted in Sednaya on Good Friday as an, as an expression for the unity of all Syrians and to renew their steadfastness in face of all forms of terrorism and their supporters. Meetings. The people of Sednaya performed prayers and expressed hope that Syria would emerge victorious against the conspiracy being hatched to destroy the country. All the Syrians, the people of Sednaya, have strong determination to defend their homeland and foil conspiracies which aim to implement the Zionist project in the region. In home city, units of the Syrian Arab Army and Armed Forces achieved progress in pursuing terrorists in the old parts of the city. Army units cleared several buildings and streets of terrorists and expelled terrorists from the Marmi Kyle Church. Going to Hama Governorate, terrorists detonated a car bomb in Salamiya city in Hama, claiming the lives of four citizens at least and injuring nine others. A source at Hama Police Command said that terrorist explosions targeted four trucks carrying humanitarian aid and staff of the Syrian Red Crescent on Hama Salamiya Road. The source added that the terrorist explosion claimed the lives of four citizens, among them a driver of one of the trucks, injuring nine others and causing huge material damage to citizens' properties, markets, and cars. Going to Iraq, where the Iraqi Prime Minister held the Al Saud regime responsible for terrorism and sabotage that is happening in Iraq and other countries in the region. He also asserted that Al Saud are backing terrorists and in targeting the Iraqi people while their fortune has turned into tools of murder and intervention in the others' affairs, showing that some of the neighboring countries in cooperation with foreign countries are trying to block the democratic process in Iraq in reference to the elections supposed to be held later on this month. Also in Homs, the concerned bodies of the security forces found a collection of artifacts dating back to the time period between the 2nd and the 3rd century in Palmyra as they were stolen and hidden in a farm. These artifacts were parts of a funeral bed and a woman's bust from Palmyra, in addition to a statue for a priest there. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our site in www.syria.com.